Story reports are the future of success factors reporting, and they've got a lot going for them. There's a lot of rich functionality. Uh, however, as an end user, it's taken me a little bit of time uh, in order to get up to speed on how to get the most out of them. So in today's video, I'm going to share my lessons learned. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate the hires analysis report. This report is, is available by going to reporting and then you're going to get to the report center and you're going to see the report. Now, what we are not covering here is the process of setting up the reporting, things like that. I've got another video that I will be publishing that's going to show that whole process. But for now, I just want to show what this looks like from an end user perspective. So you can see here, I have the hires analysis and we're going to launch this. And then it's going to take a couple of minutes to load, hopefully less than that. But, you know, I do want to, you know, uh, caution here that there is a little bit of performance time in order to get these reports to load. So this report, the hire analysis report, it helps you look at the hiring practices within your company and look at it from several different angles. So as you can see here, we have you know a number of different graphs that that together make up a story. So that's what the, a, a, this integrated view really is called is a story. Let's go through the layout of what we're looking at here. I'm going to take this step by step. Upper left corner here, you can see that we have the number of hires, that is 654 over the period in question. Then to the right of that is the top five number of event reason, number of hires per event reasons. And then going across from there, of course, we have the higher range date filter, which allows us to to say for what period of time do we want to actually check our, our, our hires. And so we'll talk about how we can adjust that in a little bit. Next is the more full, the, the fuller list of hires per event reason. You can see that here as a pie chart. Uh, number of hires per legal entity, um, number of hires per hire date. And so you can see that plot there. And then lastly, at the bottom, you can see the hire employee details. So, you know, we're really looking at this from a lot of different angles. Again, this is a standard delivered report that Success Factors provides. You can add add to it, you can remove from it. But I think this is a pretty good example of a, of a higher story that we, uh, or a story that you get from Success Factors. And now let's go through and look at how the functionality works in, in practice and how these different elements of the story relate to one another. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how we can clean some data right off the top. So if you'll notice here in the higher reason section, we actually have data change as one of our higher reasons. That's actually not correct. And for reasons I can get into, there's just some extra data in this environment that we that we don't want. And of course, that'll happen from time to time in real life. And so what I want to show you now as a, as a starting point is to just show how we can immediately right off the top, get rid of that data change get those data change values out of the rest of the analytics and then we'll go on from there. So we just click on data change. And when we do, you'll notice that everything updates on the screen. And now the everything that is going to be left here is going to exclude that data change. So now we want to talk about input controls, which is in this video is the section over on the left. So we've already talked about the higher reason, or we've already demonstrated the higher reason input control, which is checkbox related. And so we unchecked data change and that caused data change to get filtered out. Uh, now let's talk about the dimension uh, data change for that exists at the uh, top there. And, the, and this one just allows us to uh, say how we want to demonstrate uh, some of the data that's on the screen. And so this is radio button based. And so right now you can see that we have, we are using, we are showing number of hires per legal entity. But what if we wanted to change that and instead we wanted to show number of hires per business unit? Well, that's where this is input control for for this dimension that comes into play. And so all we do is we go up and we will change from legal entity to business unit and voila, that's going to cause the number of hires per legal entity to magically change to number of hires per business unit. Next, let's talk about story filters. Story filters, as well as the name implies, apply to the entire story, and they are filters. So let's say, for example, that we want to filter down based on a specific country. 
So the way we can do this is through a story filter. And so what we want to do then is we will use legal entity, which we have one legal entity in this system per country. And so what we can do is use the legal entity filter to filter us down to just one country. And that what that's going to cause is all of the charts and tables on the screen to filter down to just one country. So let's filter down and only show best run Germany. And when we do that, you can see that the controls radically change as far as the number of items that we're seeing here across. So you're, you're seeing only the German new hires and you're only seeing the, the, the business units that apply to Germany. So next, let's talk about the hard date range filter. As you can probably guess, this allows us to specify the date range and to, in our case, we want to limit it down. So we're going to switch from beginning in 2016 to let's say that we want to only show from 2018 onward. So we can easily check and use the beginning date of 2018. And again, everything just magically updates and we're going to only see the hires since 2018 and onwards. Okay, so let's say that we changed our mind and we want to show everyone, not just the good people of Germany. And so what we're going to do is to select legal entity. We're going to check, switch that back to all now. Next up, let's drill into an individual chart. So we're going to go into the number of hires per business unit. And we're going to do a couple of things. The first is we're going to show that we can filter down by just clicking on products. And at that point, we are only seeing the products business unit. Now, clicking on Explore Available. Explore Available for any chart that has this allows you to add additional dimensions, which is just categories or filters to your chart. So to illustrate a little bit more about what the functionality here for Explorer does, let's say that we have an executive who is responsible for Atlanta and they want to understand which divisions are, or business units rather, are, are hiring people in, in Atlanta. And so this Explorer allows us to do that. So what we can do now is we can add a new dimension and then we can identify of the available dimensions. We can scroll down and find that location is one of the available dimensions. And when we do that, the uh, a new selection becomes available to us. And we can select Atlanta from this list. And as you see, the chart will update and we will see the business units that have hired in Atlanta. And so you can see, we can drill down further. We could add further dimensions if we wanted to. So this just gives us a chance to add more aspects to the, to the, uh, to the story to make it more relevant to the specific user. Now what we're going to show is that it's possible to save. Once you individualize the report, if you've got the access to do so, you can save your own version of the of that specific story so that you can come back to it later. So I am changing or I'm, I'm doing save as and then I am cloning the story and this will create a new version of the story. So to get back to our report, our overall report, we go to display story view mode. Last thing I wanted to show you is let's say that you wanted to download all of the names in the table section of the story down at the bottom. One thing that you need to know about these story reports is by default, they only allow you to download 500 rows at a time, but there's a way around this. And I want to show you this right now. So what you can do is you can see there's, if you look underneath the hired employee details, you will see that there's a one with a little triangle next to it. That is letting us know there's a warning, that there's a limitation. Now, in our case, this report only actually has 233 rows, but it, it, what we can do is we can actually change this to unlimited, and this allows us to extend that table so we can make sure that we get everything. So we're just gonna click on this little navigation menu, hit export, and then you hit, uh, you can change the format as we did here, and we're gonna change it to XLS, to the Excel format, and that downloads. So as you can see here, when we download this, you will get, notice we have 233 records in overall. And when we pull up the report, you will see that we have exactly 233 rows in this report. So that gives us a good 
sense that we are accurate there. So hopefully this little tour of how you can get around and navigate as well as do, uh, use the Explorer is useful for you. Thanks a lot.